Lord and my friends, let's have some fun with Jesus of Nazareth. There is a couple new people we do have at the Mystery School, and I talk about this all the time, and I used to make videos on it all the time. So let's make a video on it, just in case there's a couple people out there that don't know what I'm talking about. Drinking and eating freely with you. No doubt you'll say I'm a glutton and a drinker. Look how Jesus Christ approaches the situation. Jesus Christ doesn't pretend to be friends with everybody. Jesus Christ knows the slander, blackmail, and extortion. He knows where CNN learned it from. <laughs> Just know that the, these people around Jesus Christ, they claim that everybody's equally guilty. Everybody's a nice, loving, kind person, and there's only one enemy, and that's Jesus Christ, and that's been going on since the beginning of time. Baptist came neither eating bread nor drinking wine, and you said he was possessed by devils. Here I am, drinking and eating freely with you. No doubt you'll say I'm a glutton and a drinker. Oh, Jesus, isn't it so funny the way that you call us out on our blackmail, slander, and extortion? Isn't it so funny? We don't know how to respond to that because we subdue everyone with it. We'd, we'd, we, we wouldn't know how to respond if somebody actually said it out loud. Collectors and sinners. <laughs> oh, Rabbi. L listen to them all laugh. Oh, Rabbi. Oh, we're all, everybody's a postmodernist. We're all fucking great friends. Everybody's a buddy. So why don't you buddy up with us, Jesus? Hey, Jesus, give up that truth and join us. A and you're going to be so happy, Jesus, when you're like us. Friend of the tax collectors and the sinners. <laughs> oh, Rabbi. You do us an injustice. We respect your achievements, and we understand their importance. But to what extent are you prepared to accept our law? There's that good old illegal speech right there. You know, you'll get this if you just watch the Joe Rogan video that I uploaded. You know, it's kind of, this kind of parallels a lot of it. The, exactly what these guys are doing to Jesus Christ is exactly what Joe Rogan is doing to you. Hey, 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 Jesus, we respect your achievements. Hey, let me blow some smoke up your ass there, Jesus. Hey, we respect your achievements, but, but at what extent are you willing to accept our law? Well, the law is duality, and Jesus Christ brings the door. Respect your achievements, and we understand their importance. But to what extent... Are you prepared to accept our laws? We hear that you... They do. Isn't the movie perfect? It, it isn't the role of Jesus Christ how... Look how Jesus Christ lets out a sigh right there. As like, this ain't new. This is the same old coercion. This is the same old extortion. This is the same old trying to get me to do what I don't want to do. Using all of your backwards communist arguments, all of your fucking tactics where Joe Biden learned all of them from. Hey, hey is this shit going to work on you? G hey, this shit that subdues all human beings, no human beings a, a chance against it. Let's try it on Jesus Christ and see if it works on him. And we understand their importance. But to what extent are you prepared to accept our laws? We see, see, uh, and it's per and it's perfect. I wanted everybody to see the sigh. That let's let's just look at it. Let's look at how perfect the acting is. How beautiful the acting is in this movie. To what extent are you prepared to accept our laws? We hear that you heal the sick. Jesus Christ, it's nothing new to him. It's the same song and dance of mental illness. It's the same shit. It's what Jesus Christ came to destroy. But this means so much more to you. It meant nothing when you didn't know what the law is. The law is duality. Jesus Christ brings the actual real God. Jesus Christ brings a release from hell. So when you don't know what this law is, do you see? Once you've been released, 
from all of this through Jesus Christ? How do you feel about taking on that old law again? That one that made you a self-loather, that one that, that haunted your life, that one where you didn't know anything and all life was confusion. Do you want to go back to that? Do you want to go back to before Jesus Christ released you from the prison? Because that's what they're asking Jesus Christ. They're saying, Jesus Christ, you know, all that freedom that you got, that's all great, but how about you accept our law of duality? You know, the thing that you're here to free everybody from? Hey, Jesus, what extent are you willing to accept our laws? What you do is an injustice. We respect your achievements, and we understand their importance. But to what extent are you prepared to accept our laws? We hear that you heal the sick on the Sabbath. They have, they have rules. Look how Jesus Christ is disgusted. Their rules are, are letting a sheep die in a pit because they have a fictional hypocrite God that said, you obey the rules and just let animals and people die. Oh, you wouldn't want to help anything on the Sabbath, would you? You want our people not to rest on the look, Sabbath? Look at the disgust of Jesus Christ. Look at the disdain for their law and their ways, the ways of Joe Rogan. If one of you had a sheep and it fell into a pit on the Sabbath day, wouldn't you go and get it out? But God made the Sabbath for man, not man for the Sabbath. Oh, oh we understand Oh, that. oh, Jesus, we understand. How can we coerce you and extort you into accepting our laws? Jesus, everybody's a nice person but you, Jesus. Everybody's perfect. Everybody loves everything. Everybody but Jesus. You're the only enemy we have. We understand what you're trying to say. But is it not confusing to the other people? Oh, oh, you think that you can get Jesus Christ with that? Isn't the acting perfect? Look how good this guy does this. The coercion, the extortion. This is all to teach you. Look how good this actor is at the coercion of it. Sabbath for man, not man for the Sabbath. Oh, oh we understand that. Isn't that exactly what the mental illness does? You, you you give the mental illness actual truth. You go, hey, how about you just save the sheep? And the mental goes, oh, well, um, oh, oh, I guess I can't overcome that. Oh, I can't overcome the things that Jesus Christ says. How about I try more coercion? How about I try more backwards communist arguments on him? If one of you had a sheep and it fell into a pit on the Sabbath day, wouldn't you go and get it out? But God made the Sabbath for man, not man for the Sabbath. Oh, oh we understand. Oh, oh, we are. Oh, Jesus. Oh, we are. Oh, oh, oh. That. We understand what you're trying to say. But is it not confusing to the other people? That That is actually a hardcore teaching, this whole thing, because every single human being, he'll get you with that. He wins. With that, Jesus Christ easily defeats all this shit where it's actually an, an impossibility. He would beat you with that. You would, He would go, isn't it confusing to the other people? And you would think that, well, I mean, there is autistic people in the world. It might be confusing for them. There is retarded people in the world. You, you would go through all this shit. And did you know that it's not confusing for the other people? Did you know that freedom and Jesus Christ is for everybody? Doesn't matter what language you speak, where in the world that you live. It took me a long time. It was a great journey to discover this. This was a hardcore teaching and is a very hardcore teaching for you to go live your life and meditate on this. Hey, Jesus, isn't it confusing to the other people? Imagine if Jesus Christ went along with that. That means that, well, I mean, Jesus Christ knows and the Pharisees know, but nobody else does and we should imprison them and everybody's our slave and we're the king over all of our slaves because I get it and you get it, but what about the other people? Isn't it confusing to them? And no, it's not. It's absolutely not. Jesus Christ is for everybody. I understand what you're trying to say, but is it not confusing to the other people? We live by the law. If we accept the law to be ruled by... Doesn't this have so much more impact that you know what the law is and you know 
there ain't no way Jesus Christ is bowing to this law. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ came to destroy this law and set us all free through the door of Jesus Christ. I don't think Jesus Christ is bending a knee to this law. I don't think that's ever going to happen. Trying to say, but is it not confusing to the other people? We live by the law. It, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what what you want to make it into. The modern. Um, it, the modern way of this is BLM. Yeah, you won't find Jesus Christ taking a knee to BLM either because it's the same exact thing. But is it not confusing to the other people? We live by the law. If we accept the law to be ruled by exceptions, then we are lost. Now, this is important because in a lot of the videos I've been doing recently, I've been talking about like, ooh, this is real far away. Oh, look at this. Look how far away this is. And this person, ooh, you're really... And understand, I get it every single bit of it from this right here, where Jesus Christ tells Joseph, you're not far away. Hey, if it hadn't been for the severity that we learned from Moses... We would not have our laws. We would not even have, we'd not even be a people any longer. But it is the, the excessive tolerance, the lack of rigidity in your teaching that has made us feel that this is a real danger. He, and here's the part, my friends. This is what we're really making the video for. I always start it from the beginning of the scene, but here's the part. The guy's telling you the Jewish law of duality. The law gives me the right to judge everything against everything in one hypocritical nightmare where I come out with postmodernism and I come out with everybody's equal. See, when they come out with everybody's equally guilty, they kill the innocent. So how is everybody equally guilty? They always kill the innocent. The innocent person always takes the blame in reality, always. And through this law of where, no, every, it's all one hypocritical nightmare. And we blame the victim. You know, this is where victim blaming comes. They, they claim that everybody's equally guilty and nobody could ever know who, who the villain is. And then they kill the innocent. Security. It's a guide to my whole way of life. A measure for judging this man is right and this man is wrong. So important. Let's do it again. And then Jesus Christ says, you should not judge. Now that's the ultimate teaching of, of it all. It didn't mean what you thought it meant. It was a personal teaching for you to, re, to be released from duality. And your ego is going to fight with this one. Your ego is going to literally think that you're supposed to not be judging things. That is not how it worked. It is so not that. It is so, there's no way to describe it. There's no way to describe any of this shit. It's through the teachings of Jesus Christ. You live your life through Gnosis and you learn these things yourself. You have to know what they are yourself. I'm trying to take you there. There's no way for me to explain. And, and that's why the teaching is you should not judge. Real small, real short. It's the best way to say it. It's Jesus Christ that says it. And the it's the least confusing. It will be the most confusing thing that you have ever fucking done in your entire life is to figure out what this thing meant of you should not judge. It had nothing to do with judging. It had nothing to do with that. The excessive tolerance, the lack of rigidity in your teaching that has made us feel that this is a real danger. For gold gives me security. It's a guide to my whole way of life. A measure for judging this man is right and this man is wrong. And you should not judge. But you... So incredibly, vastly important. As a son of Israel, know that we were chosen by God from all mankind to be the... Holy. The, 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 there's that Jewish supremacy. Jesus Christ has to let all this go. Je Jesus Christ could call all this shit out, like how I make a mystery school video way too long. And yeah. Nation and... Oh, 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 Joseph, you're such a good guy. Tell me about your Jewish supremacy, that you're God and, and, and all that. And Jesus Christ is here to destroy that. That Jim Crow. Jewish Jim Crow. Jewish supremacy shit. You, as a son of Israel... Know that we were chosen by God from all mankind to be the holy nation. And for this, 
He gave us our law, the Torah, which is the law of life. And we have to separate ourselves from the sinners. Oh, a segregation. We got to separate our... That, I wonder how Jim Crow ever came up with segregation, because it's this Jewish law transformed in for black people to control black people. Pure and just. But who is just in the eyes of the Lord? Yep, yep, Joseph, Jesus Christ just schooled your fucking ass. Who is righteous in the eyes of the Lord? Who decided these things there, Joseph? You decided yourself that you're righteous in the eyes of the Lord? How about the Lord decides that, Joseph? What is the heart of the Lord? Yeah, oh Israel. See, this is why Jesus Christ says you're not far away because he asks them, what's the heart of the law? We got to weed through all this Jewish supremacy. We got to weed through the law to find the heart. What's the heart of the law, Joseph? Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy strength. This is the greatest commandment. Exactly. You didn't have any Jewish supremacy in it. You had regular things. Regular things for regular people. You said well. You're not far from the kingdom of God, Joseph of Arimathea. But there is another commandment. No less great. You must love your neighbor as yourself. But who is my neighbor? Oh, they don't like that at all. Oh, but, well, I mean, Jesus, can we call you a hypocrite? You must love your neighbor as yourself. But who is my neighbor? Because that's how you love God. God is within all people. What you do to other people is what you do to Jesus Christ. So if you can recognize Jesus Christ in other people, if you can recognize God is in other people, and you respect that as a human being, then you're loving God. If you're loving your neighbor, you're loving God. What you do to other people is what you do to Jesus Christ. So let's end it here. I hope everybody had a lot of fun with this. It's been a while since I've made a video on this part again, and there's got to be a couple people here at the Mystery School that are wondering what I'm talking about when I talk about these parts. So I made a video for you. I hope everyone has the greatest day and the greatest life you can possibly have.